Regulation. Regulation has to do with changing the freezing point of a material. Uh, remember that if we apply pressure to a material, that's going to reduce the amount of kinetic energy in that material. So that if we have a material slightly above its freezing point, but we apply pressure, that's going to reduce that kinetic energy and cause it to freeze at a higher temperature. Conversely, if we have less pressure, that's going to increase the kinetic energy in that material, and that material will actually have to go to a lower temperature before we remove enough kinetic energy to cause it to freeze. Now that's true of almost all matter, because almost all matter, as it goes from liquid to solid, contracts. However, certain molecules, like water, expand when they freeze. So what happens to water if we apply pressure to it? Well, we're actually going to force it out of its solid configuration into its liquid configuration, which is more dense. When we do that, we're actually causing its freezing temperature to drop. So applying pressure to water actually lowers its freezing temperature. Now, a good example of this is, is making a snowball. If you go out on a day that's below freezing, pick up some snow, if you apply pressure to that snow, you can actually melt it enough so that it'll form a nice snowball that'll stay together for your throw. Now, if it's really cold, significantly lower than the freezing point of water, no matter how hard you, you apply that pressure, you won't be able to apply enough pressure to melt it to form a good snowball. That's why really cold days are not good for snowball fights. Not only are you freezing, but your snowballs won't stay together. So that's a little bit about regulation and how regulation can actually change the freezing point of water.